Okay, before we work on the light, uh, let's add some light sources. So I'm going to model something very simple here. Uh, just a simple shape. Let's add a plane, rotate it 90 degrees, uh, rotate it. Uh, let me reset the orientation, rotate it 90 degrees. Maybe scale it, apply, bevel these edges. I think that's an interesting shape. You set this, the delete. Uh, maybe before I delete that, I can extrude like that. Then select this, insert. I see we have this intersecting. So I can select uh, these edges and then scale them so that I, I remove that, uh, whatever that is. And then, so these are going to be our lights can just bevel this to make it rounded. So delete that face, delete uh, this face. And I think this can work as our light, source of light. So I'll just position this. Rotate 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees, and then I rotate all this around here. Now I think I can turn on auto smooth for this, and. Uh, Use the array modifier. Okay, let's reset uh, the cursor and uh, then mirror this in the Need to mirror this. Apply rotation and scale. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Now for the array. You can make better lights than I have here, but uh, this is what I'm going for. And maybe I can add a few details up here. So if I do this, then bevel this, I can select uh, these inside loops. And push them out like that. That uh, we run into this problem here. So I can fix that by doing so. Maybe also doing that. So this can be scaled down to fit there. So just adding a few details, minor details like that can change up your seed to look even better. And actually, instead of using this light, because I think it's really boring and doesn't fit our scene, uh, what we can do is, let me isolate this for a second. What we can do is uh, we can select these faces, insert them, and then extrude in. So our light comes directly from there. I think that will look even better. So let's see how this looks. Let's go to shading. Let me remove uh, this light. And the problem is that uh, we don't have anything at the back end. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's add one array like this. Uh, maybe instead of doing that, let's just duplicate this remove uh, the array and 
the this side we can close off like that and uh, insert these make sure we have turn, clip clipping turned on so we have that then insert again remove uh, this Yes. Let's isolate this for a second. See what's going on. Extrude and then scale down like that. Maybe we can add a window here. So just insert this. Select this, push it there, delete it, then insert again. And just to have something interesting at the end uh, there, so you can also remove this edge loop. Uh, also select this face, insert it like that, uh, then select this face delete that I need this loop to continue I like that so you can add a loop there and then add a loop there remove this loop then join this so if I bevel this can extrude in uh, maybe insert first and then push in out s maybe push out like that so we need to remove uh, this dent here Set push out. I think that looks good. So let's add some lights. And a point light. Not sure how many we're going to need. So if I put it around there, also let's select everything and make sure if you had a keyframe stand on, I remove those keyframes because I didn't know I was recording keyframes, and uh, that can be an issue when you move the timeline. So let's uh, turn on custom distance and maybe change the distance to about ten. I think what I'm, what I'm going to do is turn this back into uh, the outliner so that I can see my lights and uh, make it easy for me to select. So I'll duplicate this using Alt D, like that, Shift E to select type, again Alt D to duplicate this around there, Alt D again and again. Again, shift G to select type, out D, mirror them on the other side. If we go to shading, switch on lights, and see what we have. But, uh, we need this light to have some color to them, so maybe something like that.
under rain. So I'm not going to create materials from scratch. I'll just use borrow the materials, the free materials uh, that I, I gave away on my Patreon page. So you can download them there if you want to. So just go under Patreon, patreon.com forward slash top channel one on one. And uh, you should have access. You should have access to these materials uh, that I'm going to use here, uh, because it would take a lot of time if I were to if I was to make uh, the materials from scratch. So as they load, I don't know why this camera camera looks a bit tilted. So let's reset. It's rotation and then rotate 90 degrees again okay and then I think I can add other tilt myself something like that so let's see we can begin by using what texture here I need a texture. I need a shader with with uh, scratches. You know what? I'm just going to leave this white and. Uh, Uh, let me just give this cloth material here a simple color maybe mm. I'll give it a grayish material remove reduce on the rough on the roughness increase the roughness and let's see The flow can be that. Uh, this mesh here. Mm. I just want to capture the details. I'm not really worried about uh, the shading, uh, the materials of this. Maybe let me give this. A yellow accent color, so something like that. Yeah, that's where I will leave it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.